What's up guys, Sam Man back with another figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Batman Justice League movie tactical suit Jack Pacific Toys Big Fig exclusive figure. Now I don't know if this is an exclusive to Target, but this is a awesome freaking figure. If you guys don't know, I have a lot of Big Fig figures. I reviewed uh, the Flash one not too long ago, and I do have other ones that I still need to review, but since Justice League is less than a week away, I figure it's the best time to start reviewing these. And this is the tactical suit one that I've been waiting for for quite a while. Now, unlike the other ones, this one comes in a box one, because the other one doesn't come with the box, it just comes with like a, a little base. That's how it comes in the package. This one is actually completely boxed. Now, what makes this really cool is that he comes with accessories. So you can see right here, there's a lot of accessories. Now, this guy is retailed at $29.99, but Target has it on sale for $24.99. So if you guys can find this in stores, you can get it on a sale price. So we'll go over the packaging really quick. You come to the bottom, it's got the Justice League Big Fig. Nine pieces, tactical suit Batman, 19-inch figure, includes eight accessories. So if we turn this to the side, you know, you got the Justice League and all the character logos right there. You come to the back right over here, and it has a little bit of a read-up. If you want to read the description, feel free to pause. But it's got seven points of articulation, 19 inches tall. Accessories, let's see, one blaster, three grappling hooks, two grenades, and two batarangs. So there's a really cool image of Batman right there. So the packaging on this is pretty spot on. Um, that, that side's the same exact side. So what we're going to do is take a quick break, and we're going to take a close look at the tactical Batman figures. So stay tuned, guys. into the accessories that Batman does come with. So you got the grapnel gun right here, which looks pretty nice. And you can see the different sides here. The pin application looks pretty cool. Um, not a lot of detail in the handles compared to other, you know, figures that we've seen from the Batman versus Superman uh, grapnels, but they still, it still looks really nice. So you can actually, you actually have the little, um, the little hooks right here that you can just plug into here. And if you push it, cause the end comes out here, you can actually shoot it out. So that's actually pretty cool. So you can attach these there. You get extra ones as well, but the th I'm not sure if these will actually fit in here, but uh, you do get two extra ones right over here. So you got that, and then you get two batarangs, which are pretty awesome. So you have these right here. You get two different batarangs, and then you get two grenades, which is pretty cool. So you have these two right here. So those are all the accessories that comes with the Batman figure. All right guys, so I'm gonna try to review this as best I can because this is a big figure and I don't have a, a big tripod to be doing this. But we'll take a close look at the head sculpt first. So you can see he's got his goggles on right here. Now we don't know exactly the reason why he uses them because the movie's not out yet, but he's got his goggles on right there. You can see the little bit of detailing on him. Head sculpt looks great. I always thought that Jack Pacific, their Batman versus Superman line, their head sculpt, on the Ben Affleck Batman is probably the best that I've seen action figure wise other than Hot Toys. They did a great job. Uh, this one doesn't look as good, but it still kind of resembles Ben Affleck. So you have the, uh, the, the front right here, you get the bat ears, and you have a little detailing in the mask right there. And then you come to the suit. So this one obviously is a more armored version. And so you can see some of the little, you know, differences in the suit, you know, some of the armored plates that he has going on here. And they do have a little bit of detailing, you can see right there. I do like this a lot. You got the utility belt. You have the uh, gloves right over here. You can see he's got the little, you know, the metal in the, in the knuckles. You got the gauntlets. Got little silver plates all throughout here. Just a really, really nice figure. Um, he's got like a lot of little detailing too right there in the neck area. If the camera will pick that up. Come to the lower part and you can see also some more padding, some more armored, some of the straps on there. It's really, really nice. And then you got the knee pads right over here. You got his boots. And then the cape, the cape's pretty nice. It's a nice soft, you know, cloth material. It's kind of see-through. Um, if you guys have any of the other Batman figures, you kind of know what kind of cape you're getting. And then if we lift the cape up, you can kind of see the back of the outfit. So I'll show you guys that right there. So in the way of the articulation for this, he's got the rotation at the head. Uh, it doesn't go up and down or anything. The arms just go forward and back. He's got hand rotation. You can see right there, the hand rotates. No bend at the elbow, 
no rotation at the waist or anything. The legs do go forward and back, no bend at the knee, and uh, nothing in the feet area. But <laughs> this is a really nice figure. And let me show you as far as holding the weapons, because he can hold on to the grapnel gun. And there you go, guys. That's him holding on to the grapnel gun. Does it, it that kind of seems a little oversized for the figure, but still does the still does a trick. I think it looks really really cool. But there you go, guys. There's the Batman. Here's a comparison with the Jack Pacific armored Batman from Batman vs Superman, which stands a little bit taller than the tactical suit Batman. If you guys missed out on this Batman, this guy is awesome and his eyes glow, so that's pretty cool, but there's a little bit of a size comparison there. And there you have it guys, this is my quick little review at the Jax Pacific exclusive tactical suit Batman based off of the brand new Justice League movie which is gonna be dropping in a week or less than a week. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this figure. Are you guys gonna pick it up? Are you guys collecting any of the big fig figures? Let me know which ones in the comments down below, which one you guys do own, which one is your favorite one so far. Are you gonna pick this up? Let me know, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know if you're excited for the new Justice League movie coming out. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.